Right, so just before this uh, video starts, it's about three weeks old and now I'm doing the SAS, it's a race, look all the flags around me and if you want to follow this race uh, live, I'll put the, the link for the tracker so you can see the, the, the race happening, there is an update every 30 minutes, so I'll put the link below, uh, go check it out and uh, you can follow the race live, now your episode. Okay, so since the last few days I'm preparing my uh, qualification leave, so it's it's kind of a 1000 nautical mile qualification uh, loop. It's not really a race because you start when you want. Um, you don't have really a, a set time to complete this. There is just uh, a loop that is determined and That is determined, and this is uh, Lille de Ré, which is uh, an island on the, on the Atlantic coast. Then you have the Plateau de Rochebonne, which is just three boys in the middle of the Golfe de Gascogne, the um, Bay of Biscay. And, um, and the last one is uh, Coding Bag, it's uh, just a boy uh, next to uh, Ireland. So that's the, the loop, that's the only thing that is set. So you decide when you want to go, uh, you have to be uh, of course by yourself, so solo, and you need not to stop anywhere except if there is um, a special uh, weather forecast uh, that allows you to, to stop in, in order to avoid a low pressure or something like this. So um, I'm preparing this since, uh, since a few days, now I'm going to pick up uh, my sails, that who, which I uh, needed um, a little adjustment and, um, and probably I'll be leaving on Saturday morning because um, yeah, it's just a good weather window. There's got some little things to finalize on the boat. There is some things, you know, the preparation, of course, food. Uh, all the beetling parts, uh, all the chart work and uh, so yeah, it's been keeping me busy, decent editing and looking for money over the last three days and, um, and yeah, hopefully in two days leaving for these 1000 nautical miles and now of course I'll take you along uh, so you can have a look but first yeah, some admin and some fixing, let's go. and the Genoa is from another same maker so doing that now let's go Also boiling some eggs, that's pretty handy when the shit hits the fan. Can keep them for a few days, so pretty cool. Alright, so the boat is pretty much ready. Uh, I have my food, I have my water. I have all my charts and everything to do my astro navigation. So yeah, 
pretty much ready to go for one week sailing. It's gonna be nice to be on my own again. So yeah, really looking forward to this and uh, we'll, we'll see quite a lot, so it's gonna be cool. I'm off, I'm now heading to 7-0, past the uh, tip of Bretagne, go to Ireland, back to Ile de Ré, and back up here to La Turballe. So nice to be, uh, to be going offshore a bit by myself, really looking forward to this. And, uh, and yeah, I should have like really good conditions, a little bit low, uh, I think tomorrow it's going to be really light winds, but hey, what can I ask for? sun and, uh, and yeah uh, it's gonna be super nice and we should have some really nice scenery so yes it's so nice so time to put the spinnaker on so we have 1000 miles to do it better hurry up Alright, I left since a few hours only and I went from Spinnaker to Big Jenaker, Small Jenaker and now I'm moving at 2 knots. We should fit in a bit later. But now it's a bit slow. Anyway, I can get used to do sail changes and find the range of the sails. It's nice to be at sea though. So this qualification loop uh, is not really a race, it's just, you know, for people that join the Mini Trends to prove that they spend time on their boat, that they spend time offshore and that they're comfortable doing so uh, before starting racing. So, um, uh, normally in the race we're not allowed to have any uh, charts on a, a GPS charts, you know, like digital charts, it's only paper charts. Uh, we're not allowed to have any uh, communication with uh, phone or sat phone or anything with the exterior. During this qualification loop, uh, we can have all these. For me, I'm going to try not to use uh, my Navionics on my phone at all, uh, just because, you know, um, it's, a, it's a good training and, uh, and it's fun also. And, um, but uh, what I'm going to use is actually my phone to have weather forecast because this is uh, kind of nice and uh, and it makes it just more comfortable to have uh, to have current uh, regular updates on uh, on forecast so when I'm close to shore I, uh, I can download a few grips I'm doing Spinnaker, Jenniker and now I'm going upwind and hopefully I just had a new weather update in a few hours the, the wind should veer quite a lot and uh, in my I might be doing uh, some Spinnaker during the night so it's gonna be nice because at the moment, you know, just going upwind at six knots isn't that satisfying as uh, surfing in the spinnaker. So, just gonna grab uh, some dinner and uh, let's see how the night goes. It's gonna be nice. Looking forward. Flow. 
stuff And the test in your growth still leaves Take me back, my dear ocean So nice, the wind finally backed and that's so cool. It was going at like 9, 10 knots, easy. I'm waiting to get uh, off the, the wind, kind of turbulence of the island there and then I'll probably put a Jenneker on the island. To Ireland, go! So nice. Much better in the Tenneker, no? First night on board, pretty nice. Behind me is uh, Lille de Saint, <laughs> and uh, soon I'll be passing the. Um, what do you call it in English? Um, the TSS. Soon I'll be passing the TSS of Wesson, I mean, around it. Then up to the Sealy. Straight up. So yeah. Hoping the wind to bug a bit more. To veer a bit more. So I can keep a good sail plan and go as fast as possible for the wind eyes. Yeah. Managed to keep, take a couple of naps at night, so yeah, not okay. I'll take another one while there's not too much people. Way. And yeah, very nice. Fast boat. I'm still doing 10 knots, so not bad.